name is Victor. Today we'll be talking about pH, majorly how to calculate um, questions involving pH without calculator. Imagine you are doing your charm and then there's no calculator and you are asked to find the pH of a particular number and then you don't have a calculator. What are you going to do? So that's why I have this type of question. Just make sure you follow us. Don't forward it. Follow the process till we get to the bottom line. Before then, let me just try to introduce what is pH. pH means power of hydrogen and it is defined as the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to base 10. pH is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to what? To base 10. So, according to the laws of logarithm, if this minus come here, it becomes to power minus 1, so it means my pH equal to log redeem of hydrogen ion concentration raised to power minus 1 to base 10 and then this means reciprocal so it means my pH is equal to log redeem of 1 over hydrogen ion concentration to what? to base 10 so if this pH is equal to this so it's also saying that my log redeem of 1 over hydrogen ion concentration to base 10 is equal to what? is equal to pH and then from here, I can say anti-log of pH is equal to what? 1 over hydrogen ion concentration to base 10. This is the log form. What we have here is what? Is the log form. I just change this log form to what? To index form. Or index form. Obeying the laws of log reading. So we have something like this. And then if I move this one here, it means my hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the reciprocal of anti-log of P. H. And please don't forget that um, a product of hydrogen ion concentration and hydrogen ion concentration is going to give us 10 raised power minus 14. And it has been proven that pH plus pOH is always equal to what? Is always equal to 14. So if pH is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to base 10, it means our pOH is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration also, but to what? to base 10. The negative log reading of hydroxide ion concentration to base 10. Once our negative comes here, we have our pOH is equal to log reading of hydroxide ion concentration with power minus 1 to base 10. We are still doing the same thing and this is, means inverse. It means our pOH is equal to log reading of 1 over hydroxide ion concentration to what? To base 10. If this is equal to this, it means this is also equal to this. It means our log redeem of 1 over hydroxide ion concentration to base 10 is equal to what? POH. As I've said the other time, this is the log form. Then we can quickly convert to what? Index form. It means the anti log of POH is equal to 1 over what? Hydroxide ion concentration. So if I move this here, it means my hydroxide ion concentration is equal to what? 1 over anti log of P O H. Don't forget that we said P O H is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to base 10. That's P H rather is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to base 10. Why P O H is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to base 10. Anytime we refer to P H, we are talking about the potential, the power of hydrogen, and this is pertaining to an acid. When we talk about POH, we are talking about the power, the potential of OH minus, and we are referring to what? To a base. Let's take a look at the question that we have here now. Calculate the pH of 0 0.02 molar of barium hydroxide solution. The first thing is barium hydroxide is a base. And then now we're going to write the chemical formula of barium hydroxide. Remember that barium belongs to group 2 in the periodic table. The valency of barium is 2. Why OH minus is a radical that has a valency of 1. If I do a cross multiply, I will discover that my BaOH2 is the chemical formula of what? Of barium hydroxide. Barium OH2. So when barium hydroxide ionize, when barium hydroxide ionize, I'm going to have barium 2 plus and what? 2OH minus. What this means that one mole of barium hydroxide will always ionize to produce one mole of barium ion and two mole of hydroxide ion. This is constant and it is, it is universal no matter where you are on the surface of the earth. That's why chemistry is sweet. But if we have 0 0.02 molar of barium hydroxide, 0 0.02 molar of barium hydroxide, how many mole of OH minus are you going to have? That means that will be X 
So if I cross multiply, it means 0.02 molar of barium hydroxide solution is going to ionize to produce 0.04 molar of hydroxide ion concentration. So the concentration of my hydroxide ion is what? 0.04 molar. So we can now look for the pH, pOH. Our pOH is equal to negative logarithm of hydroxide ion concentration to base what? To base 10. So our pOH is equal to negative logarithm of what's our hydroxide ion concentration? That's 0.04. That's 1, 2. That's 0.04 to what? Base 10. 0.04 to base 10. So this minus, if you remember, loss of logarithm, once it comes here, it becomes raised to power minus 1. So our pOH is equal to logarithm of 0.04 raised to power minus 1 to what? To base 10. 0.04 raised to power minus 1 to base 10. And it's the same thing as saying our pOH is equal to logarithm of 1 over 0.04 which is what we have here to base what? To base 10. Now, according to the laws of logarithm, division can be interchanged to what? To multiplication. So it means our POH is equal to what? Log 1 minus log 0 0.04. Everything is also what? what? Base 10. And if you check our calculator, you will, in fact, you don't need to check calculator. These are standard values you need to know of and enough for you to be successful under this topic. Number one, it is required for you to know log one, log two, log three, log four, up to log five. Up to log five. This is just a sample one. We are going to do up another videos under this. So you are expected to know log one. What is log one? Our log one is what? Zero. That's a standard value. So we have zero minus 0 0.04 is log four times 10 is power what? minus two base 10 equal to what p o h and if we continue from there we will discover that our p o h is equal to minus log minus log 4 times 10 is power minus 2 to what to base 10 after that we can also continue and separate what we have here as our p o h is equal to minus into bracket log 4 plus what log 10 is power minus 2 to base what to base 10 that is poh is equal to minus open our bracket log 4 plus log 10 is power minus 2 to what to base 10 so i can have our poh to be equal to minus we we'll put our log 4 here log 4 plus 10 is power minus 2, if we bring it here, it becomes minus 2. Log 10, base 10 will give me what? 1. Then we'll cross our bracket. Remember the other time, I told us that it is needed for us to know the values of log 1, log 2, log 3, log 4, and log 5. I said log 1 will give us what? Log 1 will give us 0. Log 2 will give us what? 0 0.3010. Log 3 will give us what? 0. Point. Okay. Log 1, our log 1 will give us what? log 1 is equal to what? 0 log 2 is equal to what? 0 0.301 0 what? 0 log 3 is equal to what? 0 0.4771 log 4 is equal to what? 0 0.6021 even if what you have here if what we have here is not 4 please pay attention to me even if you don't know log 4 and you know log 2 I, I, I want to do something now if you don't know log 4 and you know log 2 of hand I will say the example. Remember that minus log log four is what two is power two. Then you can still come here my minus what minus two. Even if I don't know log four, I will come here because four is what two is power two minus what minus two. And if I come here, I will have minus. If two will come back here, becomes two into bracket. What log two zero point three zero one zero. I will close my bracket. Minus what? Minus 2. Then I'll move it like this. I don't know whether you are following me at all. And if I multiply everything, I'll have minus into bracket 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 3, 6, point, 2 times 0, 0. That's 0 0.6020. That's our log 4. And then minus what? Minus 2. But if you know your log 4, you can quickly put it in, which is 0 0.6020. Wow. Imagine what we have here is 27. That means we use 3 is power 
Tino is part three. You can't be running around inside the exam. I don't know log 27. No. What am I going to do? But remember, you know log three. Yes. And three is part three. It gives you what? 27. That will be three multiplied by log three that you have already in your head. Then you can have <coughs> something like this. <coughs> so let's continue from there. We have minus multiplied by this minus 0 0.3020 plus 2. Minus 0 0.3020 is plus 2. Then I'll have my POH. <coughs> To be equal to 2 minus 0 0.6020. Then my POH 2 minus 0 0.6020. If I use my calculator that I have, which means my POH is around like 1.4 something. So it means my POH is what? 1.4. But according to the question, we are asked to find pH, not POH. But recall that we've already proved that pH plus POH is what what? 14. So if your pH plus what's your POH? 1.4 must be equal to 14. That means my pH is equal to what? 14 minus 1.4 and then 14 minus 1.4 will give you 12.6. 12.6. So it means <coughs> my pH is equal to 12. Six. Please don't forget, pH has no units. You leave it like that. Our answer becomes what? Our answer becomes 12.6. In our next class, we are going to draw similar questions like this on how to find pH of um of a of a particular chemical substance without what? Without um without calculator. So um before our next class, I'm going to give you a question now. We are going to solve that question and then you can drop your without calculator don't forget you can drop your um your answer in the comment section i will be there to check it and then now mark it so calculate the ph of 0 0.01 molar of hydrogen tetrahydrosulfate 6 solution calculate the ph of 0 0.01 molar of hydrogen Hydrogen tetrahydrophosphate 5 tetrahydrophosphate 5 phosphate 5 solution that is a uh, H3PO4 phosphoric acid. So um calculate the pH of 0 0.01 molar of hydrogen tetrahydrophosphate 5 solution. So thank you so much. See you in our next class. Don't forget this is LFS video. Join us. Let's keep on finding the ways. Bye.